What is going on guys? Welcome back to another reaction video and thank you for clicking on this one. Uh, I don't know about you guys but I, I am really missing my sports. I'm missing like all my, my soccer, my, my football obviously, uh, you know, rugby. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Real crazy time. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be uh, watching a video of KTO's. Uh, he's, a, he's a real good channel that I enjoy uh, quite a lot. And this one is um, Meet the Craziest Athlete in NFL History. Now, when I, when I think about the craziest athlete in NFL history using my limited knowledge, um, I would probably say like the top, the three players that come to mind are probably, and obviously Bo Jackson, um, that guy was just an absolute freak. Uh, and also, I'd say Dion Sanders is probably the other one. And then you've got Bullet Bob Hayes. Uh, and the reason that I say those three is because they were just so such amazing athletes that they were even you know top of the um, they were top of the ladder in baseball as well. And also, obviously, not for um, Bob Hayes. I think he was an Olympian sprinter. Uh, but yeah, I mean, those those are kind of the three guys. I, I might be missing one, or maybe there one uh, there's one that I haven't seen yet. But apparently, this guy's Herschel Walker. Uh, like I like I said in my previous video, one of my previous videos, I've got no idea who he played for, what position he was, and you know, like I have no idea about his story, about his life story, or anything like that, about his career. So, yeah, hopefully I get to uh, as Casio always is. All, he he always digs right down into you know he gives you the full story. So yeah, let's check it out. Herschel Walker. This year has been one of the best NFL seasons in recent memory. If you haven't gone yet, I absolutely suggest you check out a game. The two games I went to Too this fast. year were incredible, and you can experience the same thing through SeatGeek. SeatGeek puts tickets from all across the web into one single area, making buying simple. The closer the ticket is to a score of 100, the better the deal. Plus, use my promo code KTO for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure you use this code, guys. KTO is the now man. Let's dive into the video. Work ethic. Something all of us think we have, yet most of us lack. The idea of pushing yourself to your limits, not your coaches, drive your teachers, those legs, man. Your boss, <laughs> Whoa. or even your parents. It's all about you. For all the current and former athletes out there watching this video, imagine how hard you worked out during the summer after 8th grade. This was when you were still a kid enjoying your summers, and practice didn't start until August. What were you really doing on your own? Sorry, just I'll pause it there, just so you guys know. Um, at, like, in schools here, we don't have our summers off. Uh, we basically have three sets of holidays in the middle of the year uh, that are two weeks long. And then we also get uh, pretty much most of December and most of January off, uh, which is our summer. Um, well, not, not the whole summer, because, you know, summer's three months. But, yeah, so we have a more of a sort of like a split holiday, whereas you guys just have a big chunk of holidays in the summer. So, yeah, I've, I've just always thought that was uh, quite, like kind of like how we have our, you know, summers over Christmas and you have your winters over Christmas. It's just a, a, a big difference in the way we do things. It's quite interesting. I thought I, I was only saying that for some of you guys who maybe didn't know that. How hard did you actually work out? I didn't grow up, my parents didn't have a lot of money. My high school didn't have a lot of money to afford a lot of the expensive weights and, you know, all this stuff. And I uh, didn't can, use that as an excuse. I yeah, you can use anything, man. I started doing some sit-ups during, com during commercials as, as I was watching TV. And started doing about, you know, sometimes 2,000 push-ups, 3,000 sit-ups. Uh, in one go. Uh, dips or, you know, a thousand dips and, you know, different things like that. And I started creating different hand positions for all that. And then I learned that that can work you out. Yeah. I bet it does work you out. <laughs> sounds insane. Herschel Walker will always be a football legend. I never actually saw him play, but like Bo Jackson, quite a few teams surrounding this dude almost makes him not seem real. Much like the title of this video, the stories about Herschel Walker sound so ridiculous and impossible, you would say there's no way. But then you see how jacked he is at 56. You got, you got a legendary workout. How many, how many uh, sit-ups and push-ups? I'm still doing about 1,500 push-ups, about 3,500 sit-ups every day, so I'm still working out. For me, That's crazy. I don't know what to believe anymore. So here. 
let me share with you the legend of Herschel Walker. Well, growing up, I was, wow. uh, I was not that athletic, and uh, I had a speech impediment. So to be a uh, person that was not athletic, having a speech impediment, I had a lot of kids that made fun of me. As a kid, he was overweight, clumsy, and had a hard time speaking. He was picked on so much that it's done serious mental damage. He has said publicly that he's wanted to kill people, and he was eventually diagnosed with DID, which is otherwise known as multiple personality disorder. Whoa. As a teenager, after constantly getting beat up as one of the only black kids at his school, one day, he snapped. He was done taking that punishment, so he began a dedicated and downright insane workout regime. Some of the workouts he did included running around his school's dirt track dragging a tire, or maybe trying to outrun trains, but <laughs> what he did while watching TV was the craziest part. He said that during commercial breaks, he decided that he would do push-ups and sit-ups. At first, he couldn't even do a push-up, but he worked his way up to where he could do 25 a night, what a tank. 50, then 100. He increased his reps until he was doing 2,000 push-ups and 2,000 sit-ups a day. I know you're Whoa. thinking, yeah, right. There's no way that some kid just randomly started doing that many push-ups and sit-ups. That's one long commercial break. <laughs> one summer, going into ninth grade, he went from the chubby, clumsy, timid kid to one of the fastest and strongest kids in the state of Georgia. Herschel would go on to be dominant as a high school athlete. Not only did he rush for over 3,000 yards his senior year, helping his team win wow. state, but in track and field, he was the Georgia state champion in the 100, 200, the 4x4 relay, and the shot put. Yeah, the best thrower in the state is also the fastest dude in the state. That's wow, man. That's impossible. He would go on to the University of Georgia, where he became arguably the most dominant SEC player ever. SEC is like one of the biggest conferences, isn't it? Was he a Heisman winner? Guess we'll find out. Wow, man, that's awesome run. Far out. Oh, that was beautiful. That was amazing. Amazing speed, man. Look at that. Way faster than everyone else. Right around the outside. Too much speed, man. That's crazy. So fast. After being told that he should have won the Heisman as a freshman and sophomore, he finally won it his junior year, amassing over 5,000 rushing year. yards and over 50 total touchdowns in his three-year career. Herschel was a two-time All-American as a collegiate sprinter. He did eventually make the Olympics. Well, not in sprints, but in bobsledding, of all things. <laughs> what? Years down the road, though. Going back to after his junior year at Georgia, Herschel made the decision to turn pro. Cool. It reminds me of Cool Runnings. Now the men, 60-yard dash. The world and American record is 6.04, held by Stanley Floyd, who is in lane one. He has won here the last two years, but he will be challenged by a pair of football players. Ron Brown of Arizona State, also the defending national champion in this event, and the Heisman Trophy winner, Herschel Walker, in lane five from the University of Georgia. Herschel, what an introduction. His hands behind the line, Frank. The only thing I can think of is that Herschel's a little superstitious because if he wanted to, he could simply move his blocks forward and be in the same position. It is a fair start. It Man, they're quick. Who's that in the middle? Ron Brown running away from Herschel Walker is Stanley Floyd, two time defending champion, got lost in the back. How about your shoulder? I know that's been bothering you. Has it hampered you getting ready for this track season? Well, it's been sore a great deal. It's got a lot of soreness in it, but I've been trying to get myself ready because I realized that that was a big step if you're planning on making that Olympics, and that was a big step if you're planning on beating these guys. I couldn't tell which one was him. The United States Football League was ready to start its first season. Herschel Walker would end up becoming one of the first major stars that they acquired. He's one of the main reasons that Donald Trump ended up buying the New Jersey Generals. In the three years that the league existed, Herschel would easily run for the most yards, including Whoa. over 2,400 in 1985. USFL. After the USFL dissolved, the Dallas Cowboys had acquired the rights to Herschel Walker. To this point, he had already achieved legendary status as a college and USFL player. 
So as his NFL career would go on for another 12 years, many people felt like he didn't live up to the hype. He played three years in Dallas before they ended up trading him to Minnesota in what became known as the most lopsided trade in NFL history. The Vikings gave up five players, Whoa. three first round picks and three second round picks in exchange for Herschel Walker and some throwaway picks. This move helped build the Cowboys right. dynasty with getting guys like Emmitt Smith and Darren Woodson. While the Vikings would underutilize Herschel Walker for three years and then he left. It's weird because Minnesota gave up so much to Look get at that speed, him. man. Didn't make him the that pull away the speed. Offense. After the Vikings, he did end up bouncing back with the Eagles. Oh, plus in 1992, that was the year that he was on the U.S. Olympic bobsled team. They actually did really well, placing in the top eight. By the end of his football career, Herschel had become sort of a journeyman. And after 12 years in the NFL, he finished in the top 10 all-time in all-purpose yards while playing seven different positions. He only what? ran for over 1,000 yards twice in his NFL career. And I think that's part of the reason why some people never feel like he lived up to the hype. But look at it this way. He played three dominant seasons in the USFL. And when you add his numbers together from both leagues, it's just absurd. Plus, Dallas ran him into the ground his third year in the NFL. At this point, that would have been six pro football seasons. Most running backs go on the decline anyway. Nice. Herschel nearly played another decade after that. That's not easy to do. Behind that O line, man, I'm surprised he didn't just rip up. In all but one season, he appeared in every single game. That's actually quite remarkable for anyone, yeah. especially a guy like him who's more of a bruising type of player. After Bang. his football days, Herschel had nothing to channel his anger that he had since he was a teenager. So he did crazy things like playing Russian roulette. And when I talk about the Russian roulette, people yeah. say you're trying to kill yourself. I no, that's not, no, because that's against what I believe in. I said, what it was is if you came to my house and said you want to challenge me at something, and, you know, everybody, everybody always want to challenge me. Everybody want to challenge me. It's like, why? And I say, okay, then if you want to challenge me, you're tough enough. Let me see you pull this here. Pull this trigger here. Put a bullet in and spin it. People go, oh, you're crazy. I would take it and put it to my head and snap it. He also Whoa. stuck to his daily formula of getting up at 5.30 a.m. to do in the ballpark of 750 to 1,500 push-ups and about 2,000 sit-ups. Also, here's another thing I found. Apparently, since Herschel was 18, he's only been eating one meal a day. Yeah, he gets up, works his guts out, and then doesn't eat till dinner. Every day. Just think of how most people work out and live their life into their 40s and 50s. Maybe I think that's called the Roman run, diet. Maybe golf? When Herschel was nearing the age of 50, he decided he wanted to become an MMA fighter. Javier Mendez, a mixed martial arts teacher, thought that it was a joke. Imagining this old dude walking and saying that he wants to become a fighter? No way. What? If it was anybody else that was 50 years old that said he wanted to fight, I'd be like, man, you gotta stop. Anybody else, I would say, I don't want to see that. Anybody else! If it's Herschel Walker, I'm like, where do You're I too sign high, up? Sir. It's You're too high. Where do I sign You're up? Too high. No, dude. Fifties, fifty. You, you, ever, you saw him when he was forty-seven. Jacked. Jacked. Stud. Jacked. <laughs> By the age of fifty-six, Herschel had been a state champion in the shot put and sprints in the same year. Possibly the most dominant running back in SEC history. A two-time All-American sprinter in college. The greatest player in the history of the USFL. A two-time Pro Bowler in the NFL. A Winter Olympian. A ballet dancer. A back-to-back -back champion in the show Superstars. An undefeated MMA fighter. A fifth-degree black belt in Taekwondo. Still stands around Whoa. 225 pounds. And apparently still runs around a 4-3-40. He's even hinted at coming back to the NFL when he was 50. Saying that he wanted to be the George Foreman of football. He once said, quote, I'm 48 and in better shape now than I was when I was in my early 20s playing football. My last fight. A reporter asked me the question, he said, Herschel, why are you doing this? You don't need money and stuff. And I said, guys, I don't do stuff for money. As I do it to beat people up. That's what I do it for. <laughs> Herschel Walker became Sounds like Mike a Tyson. shining example of how to use anger to fuel your competitive edge. He's that perfect crossover between superior athletic genetics and insane work ethic. Even today, going into his late 50s, he still claims <laughs> to do around 3,500 push-ups a day. The crazy part is, I didn't even mention all the other things that he does besides push-ups and sit-ups. When you watch this video and think to yourself, this stuff isn't believable. If someone else claimed this, I probably wouldn't trust them. But for this dude to look the way he does now, and with everything that he's accomplished, how could you not believe him? Mm. Carson!
Oh, that was a good cut. Oh, look at that, man. He's angry. He's mad. How old is he there? He's standing over him. He's gone. Wow, man. I, uh, that, that went down a road I did not expect. I, um, yeah, I wasn't prepared for that. I didn't know we were going to get into pro fighting. But, wow, man, that's that's insane. He, he might actually, uh, okay. The, the whole, my thought process going into this video was, does he mean the craziest athlete in NFL history as in the craziest, like, you know, or, like, athlete as in a sporting term? Or the craziest as in, like, a, a mental sort of way? Um... And I think it kind of means both, almost. Okay, uh, I, you could probably fit them into both categories because, yeah, I mean, Bo Jackson and uh, Deion Sanders, uh, you know, were obviously much more like, uh, you know, prolific football players, uh, much more celebrated football players. But, you know, all they really had other than that was um, baseball. Um, maybe, I don't know if there was a couple of other things that they did, like, professionally. But, um, you know, you got... This guy, I mean, what was he like? You know, black belt, he was, uh, you know, Olympian bobsled, he was a sprinter, like one of the most dominant college football players in history, and he just, I think he, he's got a lot more, um, you know, he's got a lot more arrows in his quiver. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Herschel Walker, I was not expecting that, and man, that guy had a thick neck. <laughs> you could tell that he uh, he's definitely a product of his workout, because he, um, you know, I mean, thousands of push-ups, and man... That's crazy. But I guess what if you start from a young age and you just have that drive in you, then, you know, you can, you know, there's pretty much no limits for you. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching this one. Uh, you know, again, I hope you guys are safe. And if you like this one, just smash the like button, comment down below. And, yeah, let me know who else you want me to see, who else you want me to check out. And uh, I'll, I'll take a look at them when I can. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. See you later.